thank you for watching once again uh, as you all know my name is Hugo and I will be my theme today is called battle cry <clears throat> I know you hear my fan it's a little uh, a little warm in my my room my fortress but I just want to let you know that uh, I want to give you words of encouragement um, you know my theme is battle cry what is my question to you is what is your battle cry and <clears throat> what I want to start off is I want to thank God I want to pray and thank God for for this opportunity and you thank him for my, my salvation and then pray real quick it's gonna be a uh, five minutes of fire right so let's close our eyes bow our head father God come before you father that you use me father that you move me and use me as a vessel God that be the voice behind the voice that it is you God that's reaching out to to whoever's listening God I give you all the honor and all the glory God that it is your power it is your Holy Ghost that is that it speaks through me and that uh, touch those that that need encouragement today father I give you all the honor and glory in Jesus name amen so battle cry I looked it up the word battle cry battle cry is a, a word uh, or phrase shouted by soldiers going into battle to express solidarity and in uh, intimidate the enemy <clears throat> now the, the question is what does it mean to sound a battle cry and it's and I looked that up and it says a word phrase or sound that is shouted by soldiers soldiers in a battle now the United States I have family in the Marines and the army and and they're uh, in the army it says the battle cry is hoorah right am I correct uh, forgive me for uh, saying that but I know that's that's something that the only the army is allowed to say and I respect the United States Army and I love the United States military God bless uh, our country and everybody else around the world God bless you all <clears throat> uh, but uh, this this uh, battle cry has been used for a, since the first wars out there and uh, the, one of the verses the scriptures I want to use is called is uh, Judges 7 and I remember I, I, I'm using some of the same stories that I have used in my other videos and <clears throat> excuse me and uh, Judges 7 17 through 22 it says that uh, remember that Gideon went out and and defeated the Midianites and how he did that was that Gideon divided he had 300 300 soldiers and he divided those 300 soldiers uh, into three companies of a hundred and instructed to blow the trumpet and, and give out a battle cry and light torches to uh, to make it seem like there's a lot of them and what happened was that because of the battle cry because of the trumpets the whole sound terrified the Midianites which were there were huge numbers and they, and as we remember reading the story they they killed each other they start they were scared and they fled but a lot of them were alive fled in fear and uh and that's a powerful I mean I, I encourage you to read your word I encourage you I haven't been uh, putting on videos and stuff that's been in me since for a week but I've been sick uh, you know like I told you guys before I have valley fever and I'm diabetic I know I'm, I know I know I shouldn't be claiming it uh, but it's it's there I'm not claiming it I claim that I'm healed constantly every day you know but uh, sickness overwhelms me sometimes, and I'll be in my I'll be in, in bed for a week, two weeks at tops. Uh, I can't get ahead, but our our goal is not not our will is not uh, it's not here on earth for our own desires. Our will is to continue forward for God's honor and glory, and uh, it says to store up treasures in heaven, not to worry about the things in the world. And, but anyway, that's another story, right? <clears throat> so. Uh, another one I want to uh, get into is Joshua. Um, Joshua was was a a disciple of Moses. Now, if you, if you recall, Moses was not led into the promised land. He died, uh, unfortunately. And Joshua, the God told Joshua, "I'm with you." And he told Joshua, "If I was with Moses, I'm with you. And whatever I started, I'm gonna end it." And that's and 
God prom God keeps his promise and good thing he's not man because man will back away from his promises right well in Joshua uh, chapter 6 if you read the the story I like I call them stories I know a lot of people say there's scriptures there's no to me they're very important they they speak their fire uh, so Joshua God told Joshua to round up the troops you know round everybody up he said I'm gonna hand this city over to you and just going off by memory Joshua uh, rounded up everybody and uh, he told the, the army he told you know uh, everybody's gonna sound the trumpets and he told the army gonna shout and he did that and when he did that the walls collapsed it says in 620 trumpets were sound sounded the army shouted the walls collapsed all charged and they took the city now read the scripture the word is true right if you have your Bible and you know that I'm speaking the truth look it up Joshua 7 17 to 22 Joshua 6 chapter 6 verse 20 they sounded the trumpets and they did a war cry you know they yeah with all their strength right with all their with with all their will they want they said man if, uh, if you want to take the city you're gonna you're gonna take it by force right and uh, what I want to do is, is leave you with uh, if anything I want to leave you with what is your battle cry are, who are you fighting for is it is it are you fighting for your mom are you fighting for your brother and I'm not talking about physical because I know some of us can put hands right <laughs> I'm not asking for you guys to put, put hands oh Jesus uh, but I'm asking if you're gonna put hands it's by prayer it's by by praying over them it's praying for those that are bound on drugs alcohol are you praying for your brother and sister are you praying for your nieces are you praying for your cousins are you praying for for your neighbors man especially neighbors man they drive us crazy right are you praying that uh that God you know gives them their salvation because that's what's most important is people's salvation uh, that what is your battle cry what is your sound what do you are you sounding the trumpet are you going against the the the, the darkness because that's what we are here for these are the days that we should not be playing around these are serious times uh, sorry but this phone froze okay so the next one's Isaiah this is the last one I want to share with because this is what God put in my heart Isaiah 42 I can't even spell it right Oh my goodness. I S A. I S A. I A H. Okay, Isaiah 42. 42. 13 to 16. Let's see. Come on. How do I find search? Oh, okay. So, Isaiah 42 chapter 42 verse 13 to 16 and this is what God is saying this is not me I didn't write this up this is what God is saying 13 now it says now this is the Lord okay now, the Lord marched out like a champion like a warrior he will stir up his zeal with the shout he will raise the battle cry and will triumph over his enemies for a long time I have kept silent. I have been quiet and held myself back. But now, like a woman in childbirth, I cry out, I gasp and pant. I will lay waste the mountains and hills and dry up all the vegetation. I will turn rivers into islands and dry up the pools. I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Along unfamiliar paths, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness into light before them and make the rough places smooth these are the things I will do I will not forsake them so this is God once again in his word he's saying that he will not forsake you and you got to go out and shout you got to go out and how do you shout praise God hallelujah in prayer in, in reading your word you know that's your sword that that's it that is your weapon your weapon is your mouth your sword praying and reading uh, fasting, think those things that that will help you fight the enemy. That will turn the darkness into light. Right now, we are fighting for our cities, 
Are you fighting for your city? Are you praying over your city? I ask you that you continue going back to church, continue praying, continue seeking God, seek his kingdom and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. And uh, uh, like I said, this will only be a five minutes of fire. Usually I, I try to go longer, but uh, there's a battle cry. And I, I encourage you as a soldier in God's army, I call upon you that, that you go out and shout your battle cry. You go out with your with your leaders and lock arms and seek out, fight for those that have been in the church that walked away, those that are that has that doesn't know about the church, those that are, that that are lost and bound in alcohol, in, in drugs, in in sinful natures. I ask that you continue keeping me in prayer and my health. I give God all the honor and glory. And this is all I wanted to share real quick. There's, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that just keeps popping in my heart, and I will do my best to uh, to share, and I hope that you're encouraged. I give God all the honor and glory. I know I say that a lot because, man, if it's not for God, I would not be alive right now. If you know my past, if you know the kind of lifestyle I live, I should not be alive right now. And I thank God for all that He has done for me. And also, so I'm going to close out prayer, and uh, I encourage you uh you know, go to church and share this video and God bless you all. So, Father God, I come before you, Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you for for an awesome, uh, for a privilege to be on this platform, God. You know, I don't I don't take it lightly, Father. And thank you for keeping my health. And I pray, Father, for those that are listening, for those that are sick, that, they, that you heal them, Father. That they are healed at this moment, God. That whatever they have, any fevers, any diseases... <coughs> I pray, Father, that that you heal them and their finances, that you give them abundantly, Father, that you protect their homes, Father, that, that there's anything that's hindering from them from moving forward, God, that you remove it, God, that you have all the power and authority, God, there's nobody else that is stronger than you, you are our provider, our healer, our master, thank you, God, for all that you do. I give you all the honor and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys and have a blessed evening.